So I'm going to recommend you guys an action movie, and that movie is Lockout. This movie came out in uh, 2012, I think, and I remember I watched it around 2012, and I remember at the time thinking, oh, this is a good movie, but it was one of those movies that it just got washed away. I kind of forgot about it, but it recently popped back up on uh, on Netflix, and I watched it again, and it held up, so I thought I'd bring this to you guys' attention and see if any of you guys have seen it. If you haven't seen it, it's definitely worth the watch. Basically, the premise of it is it's like it's a rescue mission. One guy has got to go in into a prison to rescue the president's daughter, but the uh, the prison's on the moon, and I won't give too much more away than that. But that's basically it. To be honest, it's a it's a pretty simple premise, but it's just a good fun action movie. I mean, the main guy, Guy Pierce, um, it's probably the best action movie I've seen him in, and I'd say that's including Iron Man Three. I'd, I'd put this over Iron Man Three. Simply because Iron Man 3 has got all the law with it and in a way to me Iron Man 3 were a letdown but this had no expectations, no previous law or anything like that and it was just a good movie. I mean don't get me wrong it's cheesy and it might even be classed as like a guilty movie, guilty movie pleasure or however you say it. To me it was just a good fun action movie that definitely didn't take itself too serious and that was one of the best things about it. Getting into more spoiler, so if you don't want to know too much about the movie, definitely go check this out. It's, I think it's definitely worth your time. It's only a short movie, maybe an hour and 20, probably max. It goes fast anyway, but yeah, getting into more sort of spoiler stuff. Obviously, the prison's on the moon and then the prisoners have all been kept in like, uh, you get put on ice, I think they call it, and they basically put you in some sort of sleeping chambers where you do your time in this cryotherapy or whatever it is. So some people kind of lose the mind and that. The main bad guy in this movie, uh, well, there's two main bad guys, two brothers. One of the younger brother, he's kind of wacky. And then uh, the older brother, he, he's got his senses about him a bit. He's, he's rather smart. He knows what he's doing in that. But, you know, they're a little over the top, but in a good way. They're, not, they're also not too over the top. They could have done it a lot worse, but I'd say they pulled it off and... There's definitely potential for a sequel, I'd have thought. I mean, the way it ends and that, obviously, the hero saves the day as you'd expect and then, you know, he just kind of walks off with the girl. I could see him coming back and I'd have liked to have seen him anyway, come back and do another sort of rescue mission or whatever. The main guy, they call him Snow in the movie and, um, you know, he's pulling off like the one-liners every sentence he says. He's kind of a badass, he knows what he's doing. I can't remember, like, if they even go into what his past was, but, you know, he's obviously some sort of trained expert in killing basically and it's that sort of movie you know yeah he just goes in there and kicks ass saves the girl and yeah that's about it i just thought i'd bring this one to your attention because like i say i watched it back in the day and then i watched it just recently this past week and it held up so i thought i'd bring it to your guys attention like i say and if you've seen it let me know what you guys think of it down below in the comments or if you plan on watching it if you've made it this far in the video uh like and subscribe and yeah let me know what you think of movie